The University of Iowa's second night ride vehicle made its debut on campus this morning. President Sally Mason authorized the purchase of the van as part of her six-point plan to reduce sexual assaults on campus. CBS2 News reporter Mugo Digwe has the story. The University of Iowa is doubling down on night ride, the transportation service for women. I think it's a really good idea. I just think uh, the university needs to do a good job of advertising it so students are aware of it. Kara Deemer, a sophomore, says the university is working hard to keep students safe. A lot of people aren't smart and they don't use the services that we have and they go to really obscure places late at night and they wind up in bad situations. But obscure places or not, university leaders want their students to feel safe at any hour of the day while on campus and in the downtown area. That's why they are expanding the service. We don't ID. Uh, anybody that, that needs the service can ride and, and, and uh, get a safe ride home. Adding the additional van increases our capacity by doubling it in terms of ridership. The 15 passenger safety tool comes at a cost of $55,000. Although leaders are excited to offer the service to more students, the push for peaceful nights will continue. There's been good work. Do we still have a lot of work to do? Yes. Do we as a society have a lot of work to do? Heck yes. Georgina Dodge says this is just one of many other plans in the making. As for Demar, she hopes the university raises awareness about the service this time around. Just making it visible in the places that students are at most often. Mugo Digwe reporting for us. The night ride service operates from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. Again, free of charge. University leaders say they're also looking into extending that time frame.